Alan Greer is a Tony and Grammy nominated actor, singer, comedian, producer. The list goes on. Ray Contour, Gentleman oh. uh, of Leisure. Yes. But. Uh, and this one, you know, you became a household name thanks to the sketch comedy show In yeah, Living yeah, Color, wow. which is celebrating its 30th anniversary this year. Wow. wow. Well, David, look at you me. I was so young. Look at you. But <laughs> you still are. Yeah. But inside, still. Deep, deep, deep inside. Deep inside. Deep inside. Yes. Well, David is returning to the stage in the Broadway debut of the Pulitzer Prize winning A Soldier Story. Mm -hmm. Plays Army Sergeant who is murdered on a segregated Louisiana military base in 1944. The investigation into his death, an uphill battle. David Allen Greer, good to see good you stuff. again. Good I was happy till you gave me that downer of an intro, <laughs> man. Every yeah. night. Yeah, every, every night. And being die. pummeled yeah. by yeah. young people. But you're paid to die. <laughs> well, yes. Yes. So this is yes. your third time doing the play and, and also doing it on film. What What is that about this role? Well, uh, this is three different roles. You know, I started, I took over Larry Riley right. as C.J. Memphis. Then I did Cobb in the movie. And now I'm Sergeant Waters. And uh, it, listen, to come back to Broadway, I, I tell myself yeah. it has to be um, an offer that I can't refuse. Mm -hmm. So Kenny Leon called me. He said, soldiers play. I, I didn't even know that it had never been on Broadway. I thought at some point. Yeah, I, I did too. And uh, it was too much. This role, Waters, I was like, I have to do it. Hmm. An incredible cast also with you. Yes, a bunch of this. other Blair people. Blair Underwood, Jerry yes. O'Connell, Namdi Asamoah. Oh. Namdi, I yes. met 10 years ago when he first met Kerry Washington while we were doing a race. You're kidding. Mm -hmm. You know, he used to play for the Eagles and I was in Philadelphia Absolutely. for a long time. So we all knew, we all knew he had the acting chops. This mm -hmm. is, this well, he's faking all them injuries. <laughs> <laughs> so for the first <laughs> week, all I did, yeah, all, all I did is ask him football <laughs> stuff. I was like, what's the hardest you've ever been hit? You no, now I'm just like, dude, come on, man. I looked Try at the, the picture of the cast of you guys. This is a phenomenal yeah, cast. Man. What was it like? Or what is it like working with these guys? Well, here's what it's like. I was the youngest. When, when I did the stage version, I walked in to Denzel Washington, mm -hmm. Sam Jackson. Uh, you know, all these guys were in this one production. We were all in one dressing room. And now I'm an older guy. The first uh, rehearsal, all these young dudes are like, yeah, OG, uh, <laughs> you know, if you could give us any wisdom of life, you know, it's like, don't smoke. There you go. <laughs> and this Other is a that, very physical role. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Your ego does things to you, sir. I didn't remember all these ass whoopings. <laughs> I didn't, I thought it was a couple, you know, shake, handshake uh, every night. Bip! Do you have all the training? Did head. you guys have like some kind of? You, I have gone into flinch training, so it's oh, like, oh, here it comes. Uh, but uh, it's awesome. It's yeah. just the beginning of our journey. The audiences have been amazing and wonderful. Uh, we're really proud of this production, and I can't wait for people to see it, man. Speaking of awesome, yes. can you believe it's been 30 years since? In living color. I can't. I can't believe people are still talking about it. That's the you, beauty of it. Well, you know, when we did it, there was no YouTube. Look, there was no internet. Right. I remember I had my first cell phone. I had like 30 minutes of talk time. <laughs> and, uh, I, you know, I did a play, and all the people in the dress room had their computers, and they had their favorite sketch oh, wow. teed up. And you could just wow. press a button. I didn't... I anticipate that technology is what I'm trying to say. Mm. What do you think yeah. it is about this show that 30 years later I'm still talking about wanting to be a fly girl and we're remembering it's probably it. me, my uniqueness. <laughs> yes. Probably. Yes. No? Yes. Okay. Do you have a favorite sketch? Uh, I have a couple. I mean, there was one sketch, it's never one that people think, but Jamie Foxx and I did these two old black barbers and we screwed up everybody's haircut. <laughs> And it was really fun. Yeah, and uh, I forgot James Brown came on the show. And oh, first wow. of all, you had to call him Mr. Brown. Mm -hmm. oh, Number two, what? it's a hair uh, barbershop sketch. You could not touch Mr. Brown's hair. Mm. So the whole day, I was very nervous. When you got near that perm, heads would snap. I was like, please, sir, I'm not touching Mr. Brown's hair. <laughs> So we got through that, and it was wonderful. Well, we, uh, we cannot <laughs> wait to come see you in, come, in the yeah. Soldiers. Come. It's a Soldiers play, currently in previews, opening January 21st at the American Airlines Theater. The right Roundabout. Here. That's it, oh, here in New yes. York City. Yes. James, David, always good to see you. Yeah. Thanks so much. Mello Welverine. Wow. Oh, and he's a professor, yeah. too. That's, That's right. Adjunct. That's I'm coming right. back. There'll uh -huh. be a spot quiz, kids. We'll be right back.